guys, it's Malcolm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this fabulous Friday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love, and blessings to you. And I'm glad you came to see what I'm about. And if you can do me the honor, as please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button, and even hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, even please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment if you feel free. No pressure. And if you are a returning sub, namaste and love and blessings to you and thank you for the support again. Um, many blessings to you, the new and the old that are coming to view. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. I hope, every, before I even get into that, I hope everybody had a, a nice Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a blessed day with their family and friends and got full. I'm full, y'all. So, <laughs> I did this video because Spirit Guys told me I had to go ahead and make it. But I'm just letting you know I'm being a little trooper because I'm full. I don't know why. Because I was like, I'm full, though. Just say, you can go ahead and do it. I said, so I, I went ahead and decided I'm going to do this video. And today, I'm listening to a one hour of the Japanese um, instrumental music. This is so beautiful. It's Asia. But anyway, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Are you trying to reconnect with your Twin Flame on the physical? Are you tired of the 5D? Are you really tired of the, you know, metaphysical, you know, communication? You just talking inside your head, you know, all that stuff. Are you, you really tired of dealing with all that? So, you know, things might happen. But today, I'm going to tell you the reasons why we have not connected with me and my situation. You already know. So, but um, that never stops us from talking through our third eye. That never stops us from talking because we talk every day. So, um, it's just like more and more we get to know each other. So, it's good. But there's th some things that I'm going to tell you that you're going to need three sheets of paper for. For you, if you really want to be reconnected on the physical realm with your your uh, twin flame, and it's just like when I'm listening to Japanese music, I felt like it was it was suitable for it because I've always wanted to go to like Japan and stuff like that. I always wanted to go to like the Asian uh, cultures to see it, you know, because I always thought it was so beautiful, especially in Japan. I've always loved the different things that I would see. Um, in the different countries from looking at, you know, looking at different shots that you see, looking them up or whatever, but Japan always stuck out to me because it's like the fashion capital of the world. It's like, it's like a, a Asian, New York is as they call it, I guess, because it, it's like a city that never sleeps. And it's just so beautiful. And that's how I kind of resonate with my twin flame journey because this is something that's so beautiful and breathtaking that you get to know each other, you get to know yourself. And this spiritual meaning of Asia is knowing, knowing each other. I remember one time I seen that on a, uh, on a uh, tarot card. <laughs> and I was like, where am I going to Asia? I would love to go to Asia, but I've never, never been. But, you know, it's a spiritual thing about knowing yourself. But I'm going to tell you those three ways of you can reconnect. Because there's so many times people might be like, you know, how can I get into the physical, into the physical re reunion? We do it. You know, uh, all through the spiritual and stuff like that. You see, it feels the different vibes and frequencies and stuff like that. So, there's nothing like knowing your twin flame. There's nothing like being with your twin flame. So, it's a beautiful thing. So, I'm, you know, it's just the fact that there's so many out there that are trying to do it. I'm trying to, you know, have me and my connection with my twin flame a lot stronger. So, I'm going to tell you how to do it because I've been doing a lot of research on stuff like this. And they said, well, three ways for you can be able to reassure that you want to reconnect with your twin flame is to have three sheets of paper. Number one, you are going to sit up here and write down every negative thing that you think that might be hindering you from being with your twin flame. Fear is number one. You might fear that they might not like you. Fear that it might not work. You might fear that you might not like them. Or they might decide that they don't want to be with you or vice versa. You know, maybe your, your twin flame lives on the other side of the continent. Or y'all can be just in totally different time zones or whatever. It could be the separation is keeping you apart. But you, we all, as twin flames, have to learn how to heal from our past things. There might be abandonment, fear of that uh, separation. Um, things that hindered us from being apart in the first place. And it was just a lot of things that I know like I had to get through even though I said I was over these things you really think you're over some stuff there's going to be some things that are going to reoccur in your life and then whatever you're reoccurring that is negative 
we have to learn to let go of those things. It, we do. I, I'm, 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 I'm a suspect of doing it myself. When things come up, sometimes it can take an effect on us where we thought we were over them. And that can, that's like self-sabotaging yourself because the things that you think about in the day are still affect you the way they did back then. You're not healed from them. And you know, when I think I'm, I'm over some stuff, some stuff can still come up and it, I will burst out of tears real quick and just cry like a baby because it's just, well, I'm like, wait a minute, I thought I was over this and then it still comes back. And I'll notice how if I respond to things, is, and then you'll be on that step where you're learning because there will be certain things that will test you just to see if you're over things like how somebody can sit up here and ask me about something they knew about my situation and how I responded to it that would let me know if I healed or not and I obviously haven't because it'll touch a nerve <laughs> so I have to learn how to not do that that's self-sabotaging so you have to write down everything that is negative that is keeping you in that negative space about your twin flame or like it might not work or oh it might scare me and we you know you know men always abuse women or you know they let go of women or men you know women always abuse men you know all different things that you might have gone through you might have went through abuse even and it doesn't have to be physical it could be mental verbal emotional any kind of abuse that you've been through and that fear can keep you away but then you write all those things down and one first and foremost if you number one if you are reuniting with your twin flame do not ever tell anybody you're going to reunite with your twin flame it's just not the fact that they can be jealous or they can interfere with that to keep you guys apart so whenever you're about to reunite with your twin flame please keep that to yourself so and then on the positive things all the joy and the beautiful Asia, <laughs> the, the the feng shui, the beautiful things that uh, you think about, like I call it the feng shui, the, the Asia, you know, the reconnection with your twin flame, how how it brings so much joy to your life. You know, you always got pros and cons. What's the, what's the pro of this? You guys will fall heavily in love. Your life will be something more than you ever dreamed and desired. You guys will get to explore and get to experience so many different things that you might not have been able to do if you were by yourself. And there's just that feeling of just being in total blissful love. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how how better how much better I can explain that to you of how it oh my god, it'd be good. So you have to write down all those beautiful things of making you what what would be the joy out of seeing them? What would be that 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 thing that makes you just oh, you know get y'all excited and stuff like that? Because I know you, when you think about your twin flame, you get excited a little bit. So um, and then the third piece of paper is when you describe what that you might not even know what your twin flame looks like at the time, but you know you've been searching for them. You know, there's always that twin flame is just like you might be at the beginning process to where you know you're looking for someone, but you just don't know who it is. So you imagine what they look like, what they smell like, what their demeanor were, you know, what would they probably say to you when they first see you? Um, what would you guys do together? You know, when you imagine those things, you, you like you're thinking you already have them and you talk on talking talking about them in present tense, it will bring you closer to your twin flame. So just don't think just because it hasn't happened yet, it does it's not gonna happen. Because you have to actually go through a healing process to get rid of things. You never know. They could be healing on their own. Because whatever you're going through, they're going through it too. So, it's like everybody has to heal. Because you don't want to be jumping into a relationship and y'all both be jacked up for each other. Then it won't last. So, you got to make sure everything's clear. Your karmatic stuff, even things that you have went through in the past. You know, like past lives or something. They might be coming back. You have to let go of all those things. If you want to be back with your twin flame, you have to let go of all that stuff because you have to think, you know, who you want to do this with, who do you want to be with, and then you'll be able to reconnect back with your twin flame. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today, and I hope that will be able to help people if you're trying to re reunite physically on the physical realm with your twin flame. So I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Enjoy your Friday. I know I am. A lot of relaxing. Probably watch some movies with my daughter. Um, oh, yes. And plus, 
just think about when you guys are getting close you'll see the signs synchronicities mine it was like i see uh, swans i see dolphins um i know i see ravens and crows the other day but that's just like you know you the seen is yet unseen you know there's something bigger and better than just what we see you know there's something further than that so look for the signs also that will be letting you know when you're coming close to your reunion and i will talk to you guys later and i hope you have a blessed weekend and please be responsible on anything you do and sending much love and light and many blessings to you for for um for now until the present oh yes and also please anything when you wake up in the morning say that anything you gotta be grateful for that speeds up the process too be grateful for everything you're going through. Any bad experience, be grateful. Just be grateful you got got to eat, you know, yesterday. You got to visit your family yesterday. Just anything that you have to be grateful for. Let them know that you're grateful. Now let the universe know that they're not you're not taking everything that they're doing for you for granted. And I will talk to you guys later. Much love, many blessings. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And drop a comment if you feel free. And I will talk to you later. Peace. Be wild.